Welcome back to PlayStation Live from E3 2017. I'm Justin Massengill and I'm here with my good friend Malik. And of course, what kind of E3 would this be without a conversation <laughs> with Deej? Well, thanks, guys. The man. Thanks for being here, man. We're here to talk, of course, about Destiny 2, which is coming to PlayStation 4 later this year. Uh, catch us up. What, what's, what's been going on since the big reveal the, uh, just a few weeks ago? Yeah, well, since the big reveal just a couple weeks ago, we've been reading all the community feedback. Uh, we've been checking in with the players, uh, you know, sort of taking in their reactions, drinking deep of their excitement to embark on this new adventure with us, and uh, preparing to bring that same experience right here to the floor at E3. Uh, you know, at the gameplay reveal, we got to welcome hundreds of players into the world of Destiny 2, give them their first taste of the brand new action, the brand new story that we're telling. Now it's an opportunity for us to bring thousands of players into that same experience, uh, give them their first taste of action as a, a new hunter, a new titan, a new warlock, and uh, we'll be doing that in the beta, hopefully for millions more players later on this summer. Awesome. So we have been introduced to a terrible new threat, Dominus Gaul, yes. uh, or Gary, who has really wrecked our home. <laughs> okay, well, I don't really care Gary. what he prefers. <laughs> Look at this guy. kicked off his capital ship, and you have no might, and your ghost is useless, and you no longer have the powers and the weapons that make you a guardian, I think you will come to respect Gaul. <laughs> you will venture back out into the wild to learn new ways to fight the Cabal. My Cabal and my microphone doesn't work, so I'll just hold this <laughs> microphone. Uh, but yeah, Gaul is uh, the tip of the spear. Uh, he is the, uh, he's at the forefront of the Cabal professional military. So as the Cabal Empire descends upon the last safe city on Earth, uh, we will be set on the run. Right. And uh, we will venture back out into the wild to explore new ways to fight and to regroup the survivors of this attack on the last safe city on Earth so that we can mount a counterattack and reclaim our home. That's what Destiny 2 is all about. It's about superheroes that lose their powers and have to recover the things that make them legend. And the Vanguard is kind of scattered after this attack. I know that uh, we'll meet uh, Zavala in one place, we'll meet Ikora somewhere else, we'll meet Cade somewhere else. Yeah. Is that going to be kind of like the main flow of the story is venturing to these different these different planets and locales and meeting back and kind of regathering the strength of the Vanguard? Is that kind of what we're, we can expect yeah, that's from the, the hero tale. Uh, we send you out to the stars. You have an adventure that sends you across the solar system and back. Uh, you encounter the heroes that have only been waiting for you in the tower to give you rewards, to, right. to give you new orders, to dispatch you on new adventures. They're in the fight. They too are fighting for their very survival. And as the hero of this tale, as the main character that you create and blaze your own trail and follow your own path in this game, you reunite the survivors of humanity. You reunite the Vanguard, you help the Guardians Someone reconsolidate their power to return to the city and to make it safe again. I feel, I feel like the stakes in this game are much higher. There's like a, there's definitely a, a, a concept going into this one. Could you tell us a little bit about how the process was, you know, making the story in this game? We wanted the villain that you fight in this game to be formidable. Yeah. Gaul is a villain that you will love to hate. You can call him Gary all you want, but he's going to reduce everything that you know and love to rubble. And then you will have to find new ways to fight back against Gaul. I think this is a story that anyone can relate to. The idea of a hero that fights to defend their home, to, to protect their friends, yeah. uh, to unite a community together to fight against a common foe. And we wanted characters that you can relate to in the game villains that you love to hate and raising the stakes in terms of this isn't an enemy that you can topple over e with ease. Not to say that a raid boss is easy to defeat, but everything that we have put in the path of the Guardians, they've been able to just shoot their way through. Uh, with Gaul, it's a different story. You're going to have to go to greater lengths to defeat this enemy. And this isn't you descending into a raid space. The fight comes to us this time. Right, right. Cool. So like we were that. talking about some of the new competitive changes earlier. Yes. Uh, obviously, we have heard that Crucible is switching to a 4v4 uh, structure. Um, I know that you guys just revealed uh, the existence of kind of a, a split between the quick play type of PvP and a more competitive PvP. Is there anything else you can share about how that's all going to look? Well, the idea behind Destiny has always been that we provide any type of player with activities that really complement their fighting style, the way they like to enjoy games. Maybe they like to play by themselves. Maybe they like to play as a member of a fire team. 
We have activities for every sort of mood, no matter what type of player you are. And the Crucible has been similarly diversified, if you will, so that if you want a highly challenging experience with your personal fire team, dream team, you want to jump in and you really want to challenge yourself, we'll have playlists for that. If you want something a little simpler, a little bit more casual, just kind of jump in, maybe enjoy a few matches with your friends, we'll also have different playlists for that. Uh, the way those playlists work, the way matchmaking may vary, the way the progression may be impacted by which mode you choose, these are all things that we'll talk about at a later date. But yeah. for the time being, okay. if you're a lover of the Crucible, you'll have more options. Okay. Uh, if you don't mind, Deej, we actually put out a call on Twitter earlier for some questions that our fans wanted to ask you. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, first, we've got one. Uh, question for Deej, why do you think it's so hard for people to realize that Warlocks are the best? <laughs> I think it's because every class in Destiny has a, a very strong lore. Uh, I play as a Warlock. I've made no secret about that. In the interest of fun and games, I've uh, expressed my disdain for hunters. Come on, and, man. Uh, Come on. Created that friendly rivalry. It's all in good fun. But, um, you know, when we take a look across the community, when we take a look at the player data, or when we take a look at the conversation, every class in Destiny is worth embracing. Uh, some people play all three, yep. but everybody always has a favorite. You play yeah. all three. I play all three, yeah. Oh, yeah. So when we take a look at the data, we see a pretty even split between Hunter, Titan, and Warlock. And we love the fact that the culture of the game is people embracing a discipline, people following a, the warrior path that really calls out to them the most. And sometimes it's the art of the game. Sometimes it is the fighting style, you know, the different talents or the different supers, or, you know, if you want to be stealthy, if you want to be the combat acrobat, if you want to solve every problem with your fists, if you want to be the staller that can hover up over the battlefield, raining flaming swords down on your opponents. I mean, it really calls out to different types of players and uh, different player fantasies. And I think awesome. what's really cool about that is when you're in the game and you're playing raids or strikes or whatever the case may be, every class is essential. You need everybody. So, you know, you, you kind of want to diversify who you're playing with based off of class. I feel like they really took that to the next level in Destiny 2 as well, with the class abilities, with the revamped supers and everything. Yeah. Obviously, we haven't seen all of the subclasses that'll be available yet, but based on what we have seen, it feels like there's a much more even balance uh, uh, of utility across the different classes. And that's what right. we hope for, certainly. We want every single class in the game to be worth embracing by different types of players. Yeah, we want right. every single weapon in the game to be a valuable tool for a very specific type of scenario. And whenever we see that out of balance, it's a thing that we can address. We can support this game. We can constantly take a look at what the community's saying, how they're playing, and the live team can react to those things with updates to the sandbox or new ways to play the game. Cool. Uh, we did um, a, another question. Is actually a series of questions we got. We had a lot of passionate Destiny players who want to know whether their efforts, their their hundreds of hours in Destiny One, yeah, will be recognized in some way in Destiny Two. Yeah, that's absolutely a thing that we intend to do. Uh, this is a brand new adventure. If you're a new player or if you're an old player, we will be united in the same struggle against this new invasion army. But if you've been a guardian who's been with us from the beginning, if you have played Destiny with us up to this point, we will have some different ways to honor your legacy, uh, to recognize your pedigree as a player, and to give you certain identifiers so that players can look at you and say, you've been around since the beginning, yeah, you're one of the original Guardians, and uh, they can right, look Guardian. upon your riches. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, we definitely want this to be an entry point for many people to join this community. Yeah. Uh, the Destiny community has been an incredibly welcoming group of gamers. We're incredibly grateful for that. Uh, and any healthy community thrives when new blood joins. And I think the Destiny community loves taking new players, introducing them to the game, leading them through those different challenges. And for those new players, it'll be important for us to have those markers and to have those indicators. Like, you've been around for a while. Show me the ways of a guardian. You know, like, talk to me about these raids. Talk to me about how I grew up with other people. And we're going to make all of those things easier to do also. Right. New features like guided games with a clan system that's right there in the yeah. game. Yeah. Uh, we want the connective tissue that brings all these players together to overcome these enormous challenges that we've cooked up, dropped into this player experience to be something that is a lot more logical inside of the game. Awesome. Uh, finally, uh, obviously, we're going to have some 
uh, exclusive content for PlayStation players. Uh, we just showed off some of that. We talked about it a little bit at our big, big media showcase last night. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, can you go into detail, share with share what, share what some of this stuff is going to be? Uh, all up, if you're on PlayStation, uh, you will find uh, an exclusive Crucible map yeah. that takes place on a captured Cabal warship. There will be an exclusive strike that takes you into the European dead zone to contain a Taken outbreak. Yes, the Taken are in Destiny 2, and they still need killing. Uh, <laughs> they you crave will, it. Pardon me? They crave they it. They crave it, yes. <laughs> uh, there will be uh, an armor set for every type of Guardian. Uh, uh, there will be an exotic sniper rifle uh, that on nice. demand can alternate between elemental damage types. And oh, for wow. those moments when you find yourself in orbit, you'll be able to show everybody your PlayStation exclusive player ship. Very nice. That's dope. So that's Destiny 2. Malik, you got any other questions for Deej? I uh, know, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm more so excited about the clan support. I'm glad you guys have put that in, because uh, I was one of those people who was on, on the website making sure my clan was all together. And of stuff, course, so I'm yeah. glad it's in the game now. I'm such a, I mean, I'm the community guy at Bungie, so I'm yeah. such a firm believer in clans being the very best way to play any game that yes. brings you into contact with other players. Yeah. I know that's a difficult leap for a lot of players to make. There are some people that want to play through the game for the story. They want to play by themselves. Destiny completely welcomes you to do that. We've got a great story that we're telling. It's got more cutscenes. It's got more missions. It's uh, you know. It's got more Nathan bigger, Fillion. More epic. Yeah. More sweeping. It takes you you know to new worlds, four new worlds. So if you're a single player that loves a great action game, we've got that for you. Right. Uh, when the last cutscene plays out, when the story comes to an end, there's an end game that you can embrace. You can master the Destiny player experience. You can take on bigger challenges. You can enter the Crucible and you can test your glory against other Guardians. That's when the clan system really starts to sing. And we're gonna make it easier for you to make those friends in the game. And then the game becomes a hobby where you've formed lasting friendships. We've seen it happen again and again in Bungie games. That's why I work for Bungie. It's because I have been in a clan that was formed in a Bungie game. I still play games with these people. Uh, it's been 12 years. So I'm deeply passionate about a game that helps people form those bonds. Yeah. And when the game becomes the place where you go to visit your friends, instead of the solitary activity that you enjoy by yourself, that's where I really think Destiny becomes an interesting experience where people tell stories about me and my fire team that went in and beat that raid boss for the first time, or overcame our opponents in the Crucible, or just went to explore the world together and to find its secrets and to plunder into lost sectors. And it's just, there's a lot of different ways to enjoy the game, a lot of different ways that the game brings you together with people you've never met before. And these are the stories that we're really interested in hearing over the longer term. Great. Fantastic. Any, any idea on how big our clans can be? Uh, my understanding is that your clan can be 100 players. Woo, so there are some people in our community who want a larger clan than that. Right. But we feel as if a clan is a team where every single member of that team has a sense of who else is in that clan. Yeah, you have a real okay. strong yeah, sense yeah. of familiarity with the people who are on your active roster. Uh, you know, it's something that is larger than yourself, but not as big as the entire community at large. Right. Uh, we've seen large segments of our community uh, you know, people like the dads of Destiny who have segmented yeah. different clans by time zone or favorite activity. And yeah. Bungie.net's got a lot of different ways to network those groups cool. together. Uh, so we've seen alliances form, you know, multi-clan alliances. But really, when you look at your active roster and when you see somebody who's in your clan, that's somebody you should be able to anticipate. That's somebody who you know. I know how you fight. You're the hunter, I'm the warlock. We're gonna back each other up. Our fighting styles will complement each other. If I hear your voice, I know who you are, and I can anticipate exactly how you're going to fight. That's really when the clan system starts to sing, and that's when those old bonds of friendship and teamwork make you the ultimate warrior. Excellent. Great, that so that's, that's Destiny 2. Uh, we can play soon, right? You do play soon. In fact, uh, the beta begins uh, later on this July. Uh, we have an open beta that begins July 21st. If you want to be one of the first players to play, if you pre-order on the PS4, you go in on July 18th. Awesome. Nice. Nice. I'll be there. Me too. I'll be there day one, day zero, <laughs> we'll day negative, help. This is negative, a, whatever. A beta <laughs> test. This is your opportunity to help us launch a good game. And uh, this is, uh, if you haven't been here at E3, this is your opportunity to take your first step into the world of Destiny 2 and uh, embrace these new characters. PlayStation.